Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with algebraic expression. x squared plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. And we're going to evaluate x squared minus 20 divided by x. What I mean by evaluate is finding a numerical value for the second expression. I'll be presenting at least two methods, maybe 2a and 2b. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to use the straightforward approach and solve the quadratic, because why not, right? How do you solve this quadratic equation? You can use the quadratic formula or complete the square. Quadratic formula is associated with completing the square, but completing the square is more fun. Let's go ahead and use that. This equation is no factorable, by the way. Not factorable, make no mistake, because uh, you can't find two rational numbers or integers whose product is 5 and whose sum is 4. If the 5 and 4 switch around, then yes, you can factor it. So, let's go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides to isolate the constant. And then find out which number we have to add to both sides. And you look at the coefficient of x and cut it in half and then square it. That's the number you need to add. So in general, if you have x squared plus bx to complete the square, you have to add half of b squared. That's the general rule. Okay? So we're going to add 4 to both sides, plus 4, plus 4. And that gives us a perfect square from here, of course, right? That's the goal. This becomes x plus 2 squared equals negative 1. Now, there are two numbers whose square equals negative 1. Hopefully, you've seen my videos on my other channel, a plus bi. If you haven't, go ahead and check them out. I also made lecture videos. And we talked about complex numbers there, right? So this is a complex number, non-real, because no real number squared can be negative 1. There are two numbers whose square equals negative 1. One of them, you'll probably remember, the i in a plus bi. So x plus 2 is either i or the opposite of i, which is negative i. And from here, we get the following solutions. x is equal to negative 2 plus i or x is equal to negative 2 minus i. You can call them x sub 1 and x sub 2 if you want, no big deal. Now these are the solutions to the quadratic. Now what are we going to do with those? We're going to plug them in. But which one? That's a million dollar question. Actually that's pretty easy to answer. I'm going to go with the first one because it looks more positive to me. Now, what is the question? We're supposed to evaluate x squared minus 20 over x. So we're going to go ahead and plug in. By the way, does it matter which one we use? check it out. But let me tell you, it doesn't. So negative 2 plus i, we're going to square minus 20 divided by negative 2 plus i. There's a lot of negativity here. Let's go ahead and fix it by changing this to a plus sign and changing it to a plus sign. So I'm basically negating the denominator and then negating the sign in front of the expression so that double negation will give us a positive. Unlike English, right? Sometimes double negative doesn't give you, well, does it? I don't know. Anyways, so let's go ahead and square this. a squared plus b squared, that's a minus 1. i squared is negative 1, remember? Minus 4i. And to be able to simplify this, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate. That's going to give me 20 times 2 minus i divided by the sum of two squares. Remember, this gives us 5. And now we can go ahead and divide 5 into 20 four times. And this is 3 minus 4i. And if you distribute to 4, 8 minus 4i. That shouldn't be a surprise because we're expecting to get a numerical answer, right? So this gives us, by the way, uh, we made a mistake, negative 2 plus i. This should be a 2 minus i after the negation. And we should be multiplying by 2 plus i. Therefore, that should give us a plus sign here and a plus sign. And everything else should be fine, right? Okay, great. So now the 4i is supposed to cancel out. That's why we had to fix it. But now you end up with a numerical answer. So you're going to see uh, I made a mistake. So you're going to see because I'm not going to cut this part. And the answer is 11. Make sense? We were expecting to get a numerical answer for this. And we did. So the answer is 11. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, but the second method will probably branch off into A and B. 
So what's the question? We are given a quadratic and for these x values we're supposed to evaluate this expression. So I'm going to do the following. Oh, by the way, I'm also going to show you some results from Wolfram Alpha, which will, uh, you know, make this more meaningful, hopefully. So here's what I can do. Since this is equal to a constant, because I'm trying to find the numerical value, let's go ahead and set it equal to k. k is a constant, real constant. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by x here. Let's go ahead and do that. That gives me x cubed minus 20 equals kx. Great. Now, I can do the following. Let's go ahead and isolate x cubed and write it as x kx plus 20. Now, this is the critical part. I got x cubed in a linear form, and guess what? I can do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and take x squared plus 4x plus 5 equals 0 and isolate x squared. You know, that's going to bug me, right? So now subtract it, and we get x squared is equal to negative 4x minus 5. Now, since we're trying to get x cubed from here, multiply both sides by x, and that's going to give you x cubed equals negative 4x squared minus 5x. But remember, x squared is always negative 4x minus 5 from here. So plug it in, x cubed becomes negative 4 times negative 4x minus 5, which replaces x squared minus 5x. And that minus 5x comes from here. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Now, let's go ahead and simplify this expression. That's going to give us a linear form for x cubed. This will be 16x plus 20 minus 5x. And that is x cubed equals 11x plus 20. Awesome. Now, this is awesome in so many ways because we already had something for x cubed. And that was kx plus 20. Let's go ahead and put those together. If you want, you can set the x cubed equal to each other or just take a good look at this. Uh, what do you get from here? But let's go ahead and do it. kx plus 20 is equal to x cubed, which is equal to 11x plus 20. And this is true. If you figure out, uh, cancel out the 20s, this is true for all x's, right? I mean, not for all x's, for x's that satisfy this equation. But this tells us that, obviously, x does not equal 0. Come on, right? k is equal to 11. And k is what we were looking for, right? Because we were looking for the constant that this equals. Great. So we got the answer again. But this time, let's go ahead and take a look at 2b, the branch off, or not 2b. Right? Okay, so we have x squared plus 4x plus 5 equals 0, and we're supposed to evaluate this. So I'm going to use a slightly different approach. Again, I'm going to set this equal to k, and I'm, again, I'm going to multiply both sides by x, getting x cubed minus 20 equals kx. But instead of isolating the x cubed, this time I'm going to put everything on the same side. Now, we do know that for x values that satisfies this, this equation is true, which means the quadratic divides the cubic because all the roots of the quadratic are included in the cubic equation. Does that make sense? So in other words, x cubed minus kx minus 20 contains x squared plus 4x plus 5. What do you think the other factor is going to be like? Easy, right? x minus 4. Because I do need a negative 20. To get negative 20, I need to multiply 5 by negative 4. And of course, I'm going to have to multiply x squared by x to get x cubed. Make sense? Easy peasy, lemon cheesy. So let's go ahead and distribute everything. We're going to get x cubed plus minus 4x squared. And then plus 4x squared minus 16x plus 5x minus 20. And this gives us, 4x squared cancels out, of course, x cubed minus 11x minus 20 equals x cubed minus kx minus 20. And then from here, we get the exact same answer, k equals 11. All right. You're going to know which method you like the best, right? And now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of diff different things. Notice that I use Wolfram Alpha here. And this is my input. If x squared plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0, what is the value of this expression? And I get the answer. Cool. It can do it. And then on another uh, approach, if you divide this by that, you're going to get x minus 4, which means the numerator is divisible by the denominator, which means k equals negative 11 satisfies. I mean, k equals 11, I should say, right? Not negative 11. Was it positive 11? Yes. It is positive because we have a minus sign. So that means 11 is the answer. 
And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.